Hello, hello. Welcome to this messy, messy table. <laughs> I've been a bit sick uh, and I've returned to work. Um, so, you know, I've, uh, you know, this is my gaming space is a bit unclean. We've got my son painted a benchy that came with the 3D printing. Um, I think these things. I got the, the a whole bunch of 10 millimeter um, from their Proxy Wargaming... Australia, yeah, not very good paint jobs, but you know, the idea is that they'll do, you know what I mean? <laughs> the idea is we'll use these to um, paint, to, to do the fantasy battles. I've got the, I've got the bigger ones. You go, look at the size difference. I don't know if I've shown this before. I feel like I have like the size difference in the, um, you know, it's the same miniature. <laughs> but in 10 mil. So that means that we can have much bigger games on our much smaller spaces, right? I've magnetized my frog god, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan. I've been working on those things. Um, and I've got to paint the goblins up, which is why we haven't seen any of that yet. They're still good to be finished, finished getting their paint scheme done. Uh, I've got these 10 millimeter houses from uh Knights of Dice Viv I used to watch Viv like back in the rubbish in rubbish out days a long time ago I used to like when he first started um and I really loved just his authentic approach to uh making YouTube content you know like it was gaming content but it was also you know he'd often talk about just you know how his how he was going with his life and what was happening. And um, he stopped making... Oh, my cat's come up to say hello. Hi, Gohan. You noisy cat. Yeah, he stopped making content for ages. And so, I don't know, just somehow YouTube it fell off my algorithm. And then he's gone back to making stuff on that channel. Then he started another channel, Knights of Dice. And like for years, he's been making this content. And I, I missed him. This is our chief security officer, Gohan. He's here making sure everything's untoward. Yeah, or, or nothing's untoward, I guess. We want nothing to be untoward, right? Um, can you bugger off? I'm trying to make a video. Scat, go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can see I've got my... Um, I, I was saying, you know, like we haven't done the um, grim dark future stuff for a while because I had to put together some tanks. So these are the tanks I've been putting together. Obviously, terrible paint jobs, um, but, you know, it'll it'll do the job i also like cast a lemon rust uh and tried to cast it in i had some pinky silk putty and uh like you know that looks not terrible obviously if you look close you know if, if you're actually looking at it it looks pretty horrible but you know for table size it's missing the bottom the whole bottom section leaked out but you know like you put them on the table that'll do for our purposes right and eventually I'll get it to actually work so that it's a nice casting and we'll be good. What's going on? My cat is attacking me. Go away. Yeah, so that's that's what's going on. That's my hobby update. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad to have found Knights of Dice again. I, I bought like um, four. It was a birthday present. My wife sort of said, yeah, you spend as much as you want. And I basically got like the whole um, set because we were going to do some... Lord of the Rings, Osgiliath stuff, like, so I got, like, a whole bunch of fantasy ruins, uh, and I got a whole bunch of, um, sort of World War II Normandy buildings for 28mm, because I don't really have any of those. The problem is now, I have to glue them together, right? <laughs> so I'll be gluing these ones together, because they're easier to put together, um, but that will then open up, uh, this world of 10mm fantasy gaming, and I don't think I've shown you guys this yet. Ugh, hang on. Ugh. But uh, I don't know if you've seen Bill making stuff. I kind of stole his idea of doing like a um, portable gaming case. So this is, uh, they were A3 frames, which I just put a hinge on and have like glued together. I don't know if this is going to go well. I don't know how much stuff is in here. But you can see I made myself a little portable gaming kit. So we're going to take this on the road. We'll make some videos out in the wild. <laughs> game in the wild days um so we'll see how that goes and you can see i made all the little you know if you follow my follow my instagrams i've got like you know how i made all this stuff with a little pack ready to go it all fits in nicely you got some swamp terrain some trees which are made out of string um so they're kind of flexible which is nice for 
this portable deal. We got lots of like tokens and dice and things. So yeah, we're, we're sort of set up nicely. And eventually I'll end up making some dungeons that kind of can sort of fit in here too. So we can do some random dungeon generation. And if I don't mess this up, we'll, um, we'll do that. And there we go. Now where'd I put my bobby pin? It's held together by one of my wife's bobby pins. My plan was to put like something on the top here, you know, like some kind of like, you know, maybe like a floor de lace or like a, you know, one of these sci-fi greeblies that I've cast in resin, you know, like find something cool to put on it, but I just haven't worked out what I'm going to do yet. But there you go. And I've got like the straps. So the idea is I can like, you know, strap, <laughs> strap them on, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, obviously this is not going according to plan because the like string handle that's there is like not, um, you know, it's kind of in the way of the string handle. That's kind of the idea, man. It's like we can take it on the road, play fantasy in a forest or something. Oh my gosh, I'm really messing up the physicality elements of this video. You get the idea. We strap it together. Portable gaming day. Happy days, right? <laughs> Thanks, Bill Make Stuff, for that idea. My, his was magnetic. I didn't bother doing that. I was like, that's too much. <laughs> that's way too much above my pay grade. Um, I thought about how to do it and I was like, that's just going to be a nightmare and I'd need to cut metal and all sorts of stuff. So anyway, that's kind of my hobby update. <laughs> Basically, long story short, everything is a mess and I'm in a kerfuffle. Uh, and that's why, you know, we've been doing the videos. Now, speaking of doing videos, we got some battle tech to catch up on. Three was too many videos. <laughs> too many videos to uh, make, I think. Even for Alpha Strike. We're starting to get the hang of Alpha Strike. If you bared with me for any of those, thank you very much. My cat is attacking the ball. Hey, you want to play with the ball? Go fetch the ball. There you go. Go somewhere where I'm not filming. Crazy security officers. What are you going to do? Yeah, three was too many videos, and we absolutely got smashed on all of them. So I think splitting my forces up like that is probably not a great idea. Alpha Strike, um, you know, the, the advantage of them being uh, such smaller uh, units is good, because, like, it's a lot less rules to learn and stuff, but it also means that they're a lot weaker. Um, you know, whilst the games go fast because of that, uh, it also means that, you know, damage is a lot more serious. So, um, we'll put that up there so we can access this. But yeah, we got to sort out our, um, our battle tech stuff, man. <clears throat> so we had two losses and a win. We, um, don't get rewards for the missions that we lost, but we do get the rewards for the, um, the mission that we won. So we won the escort convoy mission. Um, which gave us... Are you back over here? You crazy cat. Uh, gives us 29 points to, to live with. So that's, um, you know, week two. We get plus 29 points uh, to, you know, do stuff. And we also got a third of a Koshi. Uh, we got... It says here we got three bits of a Commando. That doesn't sound right to me. Oh, no, what it is, is it's a third of a Commando, a third of a Locust, or a third of a Stinger, and, um, I have to, uh, I have to roll to get those, I think. I don't know, it's been so long, and I haven't watched the video since I edited them, but let's do that, yeah, because we only get 10% salvage, right? So, on a three, we get the, a Commando, on a... Two, we get a locust. Oh, wait, no, we got three commando parts. Two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so depending upon what it is, that's the one bit we get. It's a two, so we say one, two, three, so we get a commando part. So we get plus one third commando, and we get one third of a koshi. Uh, and we have two thirds of our own Hermes. Is that right? Yes, Hermes. Is it Hermes? No, it was the Shadowhawk. Shadowhawk. I don't remember, to be honest with you. <laughs> I thought I wrote it all down. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, there you go. We did get two locusts, three... Yeah, so what I said was right in terms of the salvage parts. What got blown up? See, this is... You've got to keep going. Here we go. It was a third of a Shadowhawk. See, I was right. There we go. We've got one third of the Shadowhawk left. That's the good guys. That's the bad guys. And we got two thirds of a Hermes. There we go. See, I knew what I was going on. All right, so we got one third of a Shadowhawk, two thirds of a Hermes. Thanks for bearing with me. Hermes two. Uh, and that is what we've got. So, and we lose the Shadowhawk. Uh, where is he? Shadowhawk. Oh, which was the Phoenix Hawk. And we lose one of the Hermeses. And we've got to work out uh, what we're going to do with all this salvage and what missions we're going to do. Um, uh, so, kind of, and how we're going to deal with repairs. So, what I was thinking we would do is they're not available for that week. Like, uh, you know, we, and, and we'll... Uh, you know, anything that needs repairs is out for the week. Um, and then, uh, you know, we have to basically spend the amount of points that we don't have to build it. Um, or if we have three parts, we can just build it for free. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So, like, for instance, if we got another third... Of, so, we can either spend the third of a cost of a Hermes 2, which is 25 divided by 3, right? So, what's that? That's 6 and a bit, <laughs> Right? So we'll call that seven. Right. Is that right? Seven times three? No, it's eight and a bit. So it's nine. So we can spend nine points to build a Hermes. Um, or we can spend... How much is a Shadowhawk? Shadowhawk is 35. So we can spend two thirds... So that's going to be like 11, 12, almost 13. So we might as well call it, tw we'll call it 12. Um, so we'd need to spend 24 to get the Shadowhawk. Um, to to build, build the Shadowhawk back. So what's that going to give us? 24 plus 9 is 35, which we don't have. We only have 29. So maybe what we'll do is we'll leave the Hermes out and get the shadow hook back operational so we will buy uh 24 to get two thirds of the shadow hook oh yeah that's why you came accounting <laughs> accounting simulator see this is much easier though than the than the you know, mercenaries book like you're fully doing your taxes so that means next week, when we put this one in here, we'll say the Shadowhawk. Is active. Okay, so we'll get the Shadowhawk back week, week three. So we don't have a Shadowhawk for this week, and we don't have one of the Hermeses. So we're, we're kind of down half a lance. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got. I don't know if you can, if you can read it. So... We've got, uh, uh, there's Wolf against, uh, Clan Wolf Force, where we need to do Recon. So Recon, if we, I don't know if you've seen these. If you haven't, you can definitely check them out for free on the Patreon. Um, you know, now you can get a little pack where you can print them out. Uh, so Recon, you have to, um, the Recon forces win when they have scanned the key resources, tokens, uh, and left the table edge that they came in. So we have to scan uh, those things. And the scan distance for this one is scan distance is the shortest table edge divided by four. So you have to be very close to it uh, to scan. And so that's pretty straightforward. You're just scanning things. But it is against the wolf, right? And we, we as we saw, the clan mechs like, are uh, tougher than... They seem. That's not the right sheet. Where did I just put that sheet? <laughs> Am I going crazy? There it is. So the wolf is a is is quite a tough unit, right? Um, so I don't know if we do that. The salvage for that is only a twenty five percent salvage, so it's the least amount of salvage, uh, and it's also mediocre rewards if we actually get to do that. And their force is plus ten percent, so that's a lot. Excuse me, uh, Marek Civil. So we're going against ourselves. We're doing a patrol. 
the forces will be force plus 10% as well. It's got a good reward though, and it's got 33% salvage. So that's, that's pretty good, I think. Though the best one is going to be a mercenary raider convoy. So it's like um, the opposite of what we did before. Before we were defending the convoy, now we have to raid it. Um, and we saw in the raid convoy... Like, actually, it kind of favours the defenders, because to win that as a raider, you need to prevent more than 66% of the units from escaping. Uh, and the way that you destroy a unit is um, they have to take three direct hits. So, that's actually... Um, that's quite a lot. <laughs> like, that is actually quite a difficult one. Even though they have... Um, you know, the same... They have the same as my force. So even though that's well rewarded, that's quite difficult. I think my best bet is just doing one patrol. And the patrol, if you haven't seen, is, um, you know, you've got to sort of scan the bad guys until until you get them. Objective, you've once you've secured all enemy forces, and they win if they get off the deployment zone, which they did. Again, that's actually quite easy to do uh, in theory. So, you, like, you really have to bring the hammer down on your on your units so um i don't know i think maybe we will do i don't know do we do that one and get 33 percent salvage or do we try to get the raid the convoy do we be bold fortune favors the bold like the easiest mission in theory is the wolf one but the wolf guys are gonna mess me up you know what i mean <laughs> uh, yeah, the best paying mission is the raid the convoy, but I suspect that's going to be the hardest. Um, yeah, okay. Why don't we commit to... I'm going to commit to the wolves. So we will do that, and we will put, like, all in. <laughs> We're all, our whole force can go in against the wolves. They'll have force plus 10%, um, and then we'll, we'll leave those two. Uh, because I think that's... I think we got to pace ourselves. I think we bit off more than we could chew last week. I think that was the problem. So that's the plan. Uh, we'll, at best, we can get a third of our lance points... Um, which I'll crunch the numbers on how much that'll be, and we'll, we'll put that all in the first video. But I think that's what we're doing this week for week two. We'll verse the wolves again. We're just doing some recon um, since our patrol kind of, you know, they got through the patrol. So, you know, they're obviously setting up a base somewhere. So we got to go and go and look after them. Um, so that will be our video for this week, which I'll do a bit later in the week. But there you go, so you know. Now that cost me 24, which means I've got 5 points left. So at the end of week 2, we've got 5 points left. Um, we've got the Shadowhawk is back, sort of, you know, in action. Uh, I'll write that up there. One of the Hermes 2 is not, but we'll get that. You know, he, he'll, he'll be back eventually. Because we only need to collect one more piece. What'll probably happen is the other Hermes 2 will get exploded and we'll be able to, you know, repair them together. I guess that's the good thing of this, is we can have, um, you know, if we have the double ups, we get the repair, um, you know, enough to repair them. And we've got the second Hermes 2 anyway. Um, and yeah, maybe we'll collect some more Koshi parts or, or Commando parts along the way. Um, we'll definitely get a chance to do Koshi parts this week. So, that is, that is the Battletech update for week two. Uh, and we'll, a little hobby update as well. Bonus, bonus hobby points. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any, you know, requests that you want to see, we might do them. Uh, like I said, my plan, once I get those buildings made, is we're going to do some Age of Fantasy regiments. And the other thing we are going to do is, that's not the big book, but we're going to do some 5150 New Beginnings, which is like role-playing, um, some little solo role-playing shenanigans, 
which we will. This is a really good system, and I very thoroughly encourage anyone if you want to play a cool system, check this out. Which that's that's coming this week. Uh, if I get time to do the videos, like I said, I'm back at work. Uh, you know, time is have been hectic, but that's the plan. Uh, and as you can see, these are coming along nicely. I've got everything ready to go for them. Um, I just have to put a bit of paint on some Necrons, I think, and we're we're good to go. Like I said, these are not finished being painted, but um, like you know, that looks that looks good enough from far away to get away with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> We can we can definitely do that, and I like how they turned out with the black and the red. I've got a bit of a um, inadvertently my um, do I have them here to show you They're somewhere? Uh, I know you're like just end the video, you idiot. Yeah, I know I should. Um, are they here? I thought I had them here. Obviously, I don't have them here, but I I have um, in it. I accidentally I have Nazi Imperial Guard. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I just like grabbed some World War II soldiers um, from the 3D printer and I gave them las guns and I was like, I just want them to just have like normal looking stuff. Uh, and originally I had like some metal, um, some metal guys as well that were like just World War II guys. So I just like found the same model online and printed a whole bunch of them off. And then uh, someone has pointed out to me like, not only are they, do they look like Nazis, but also my paint scheme, which I went with like gray and red. It's like, looks a bit intimidating. So, um, apologies. I do not support Nazism in any way. But there you go. That's, that's what I've ended up with. In fact, I have a, like one of my heroes in it is, um, a Nazi, famous Nazi killer. Like she's a Russian, um, Russian sniper, Lady Death or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know where, I swear I brought those ones out. Anyway, there you go. I'm going to stop talking. You enjoy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me ramble for a hobby update. Um, and yeah, if you want to play along, check out the scenario packs on the Patreon, follow along on the video and I'll see you in the next video, I guess, when I'm actually playing a game, which hopefully will be very soon. Ciao for now.